The year is 1973. American Racehorse Secretariat wins the Triple Crown. Motorola engineer Martin Cooper invents the first cell phone. And most notably, first year Andy Friedenberg sits down to write his English essay. But this isn't just any essay. It's the spark that will ignite one of WashU's most beloved traditions, wild. In his essay, Friedenberg proposes the creation of a film festival in Brookings Quad. He originally suggests the event as a mere hypothetical, but with help from friends and faculty, Friedenberg launches Team 31 Productions, turning the outdoor film event into reality. Encouraging students to bring sofas into the quad for the screenings, the event is monikered Walk In, Lay Down, or Wild for short. The success is only just beginning for Team 31 Productions. Over the years, Wild features oh, The Longest on, Yard, so 2001 A Space about? Odyssey, Serpico, and Little Big Man. Every year, garnering a larger audience than the last. In 1978, everything changes for Team 31. New leader Bob Pravder offers a different direction for Wild, live music. At the April 1978 Wild, Billboard country charter Asleep at the Wheel opens before the screenings. I was born in Louisiana, down on the old bio, raised on shrimps and catfish. The performance is extremely well received, and from that point on, music is cemented as part of the event. Throughout the 80s, the role of live music in Wild heightens as a cluster of big name groups are brought on campus. In the spring of 1981, U2 appears at Graham Chapel. Four years later, in 1985, Chuck Berry performs in the quad. By the 90s, music has become Wild's main attraction. 1991 marks the last time Wild screens a movie airing the thriller Silence of the Lambs. At this point, Wild has morphed into a full-on music festival. I've been working on it all semester. We try to bring big bands. Tonight the samples are playing, and I know a lot of students who are very excited about it. Frats and student groups put out sofas the night before. Students camp out in the quad, and the event transforms into a day-long party. In the 2000s, Wild shifts from an all-day hangout in the quad to a nighttime concert. Despite the changes, the music keeps coming and the crowds keep growing. By the 2012 Wild, Team 31 merges into WashU's larger social programming board. We as a social programming board are very excited to do WILD. Um, that's always one of our favorite things to put on for the student body. Changes aside, the concert lineup is better than ever. Childish Gambino, the All-American Rejects, and Jason Derulo all take the stage. After a three-year hiatus, excluding the spring 2022 performance of Zed, the much-anticipated spring 2023 Wild returns with Flo Millie headlining. Labeled as a golden Wild, spring 2023 takes a unique place in history, marking the 50th anniversary since the first Wild was held. Golden Wild is representing a culmination of all the hard work that uh, we as the social programming board, as well as the other boards that came before us, have put in to establish WILD as a campus tradition. Yeah.